Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to update firmware on Kramer remote control devices using the KCONFIG software. Today as an example we're going to use the RC63DL universal room controller to show how to update firmware when there's updates available that introduce new features and fix potential bugs. So what I've done, I've taken my RC63DL, unpacked it, connected the power supply, connected the USB to my computer, opened up the KCONFIG software and connected to the unit. Once I'm connected to the unit, I want to check and see what firmware is on my unit. I do that by selecting the RC63DL and then selecting device settings. In device settings, I look down at the firmware version and on this it's 3.3.1.3781. What we want to do from there, we'll minimize our KCONFIG, go into our web browser and go to KramerUS.com and then we're simply going to type in RC-63DL and select that unit. Once our browser pulls up the page for the RC-63DL, we're going to scroll down and click on the Downloads tab. On the Downloads tab, go down to Product Firmware and you'll see the RC-62 slash RC-63 firmware. This is version 3.2.2.5136, which is an updated version. We're going to click on that that takes us to the next page where we can look at re uh, release notes and in the release notes we can see exactly what this firmware changes so whether it uh, fixes a bug or adds new features you can determine from there if you need to update your firmware or if you don't what we're going to do is we're going to click on download download it once it's all done we're going to open that downloads folder and extract the files and we're going to extract them right to our desktop. Hit extract. And from there, it's on my desktop. So close these windows, minimize our browser, and go back into kconfig. So now that we're back in kconfig, see our main page? We're going to go to device and load firmware. We're going to connect to our device it automatically pulls up the COM port that it detects because we have our USB drivers and everything installed and we're used to connecting to our device. So we just hit OK. Now once my computer is connected to the unit, I'm going to select the unit that we're talking to, go to Browse, and we're going to find that, that firmware file that we just downloaded. Once that's in there, we're going to start the upgrade. We're going to say yes to confirm. It's going to go through the process. And that's how you update your firmware. Once it's all done, you simply disconnect from it. Then you're going to disconnect the USB from the device. And we want to do a factory reset on the unit. To do that, you power off the unit, hold down the factory reset button on the back of the unit, and power it on while we're holding the button down. Once it's booted back up, let go of the button, and you're ready to program the unit to do whatever you'd like it to do. If you have any questions, please go to KramerUS.com or email any of your Kramer representatives. Thanks for being with us today.